Good day everyone, my name is Steven Daniel and I'm from L2 Icon. Charity Premier is an initiative co-organized by Legal Plus and L2 Icon. It is not only a charity drive, but also it will help raise awareness of the great deeds of some of the charity or charitable organizations we have in our community. It is my pleasure today to welcome Datuk K. Sri Damaratana, who is the founder of T. Ratana Welfare Society. Thank you for joining in today, Datuk. Uh, thank you, thank you. Datuk, I'll go right into it. Could you please share a, a brief history about T. Ratana? Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel. And uh, inviting us to come forward to explain to uh, all of you uh, about our T. Ratana organization. For your information, we have registered, legally registered in the Malaysian government our organization 1994 but after three years later uh, we managed to get our own permissions and started an all a open uh, ish for the poor children needy children so, uh, with the 15 children when he started, so it be getting more and more children we have found and uh, we could not cater for everybody. So therefore, we have no choice. We had to move to another place. So, we found the current place in South South, uh, you know, this Petaling. And uh, then we explain our service to the in not only for open age, even an old folks home. And while serving to the orphans, children, as well as the old folks home, and we have discovered the another area in this country for the unmet mothers. So unfortunately, when they get into trouble, they do not know what to do. They come and approach us. So we do the counseling for them and we let them to deliver the babies in our place. And at the same time, we help them look for the jobs and continue their life happily. Even some, even school students, they come and approach us. So the, uh, after, uh, opening of the women's shelter uh, then we move forward to serve the community again by using mobile mobile a medical unit so we go to rural areas such as uh, uh, state as well as the gender bike or the orangasi so we go and serve them uh, every week our voluntary doctors and, uh, and assistant together. So, in addition to this, we are serving for the human being. So we thought, why not we see the animal, stray, like stray dogs. So, we open our stray dog shelter and we give them uh, uh, facilities, at least uh, in a uh, while uh, moving the roadside and die or kill. So we give them opportunity to uh, live a longer life and we have been taking care of them. So the uh, then after that, of course, in between people are need uh, our help. We are always uh, go forward to assist them. Now come to the uh, during even this COVID-19 uh, time, all of us affected, many poor people, so they need uh, assistance. They come and request from us, is there any way we can uh, help them? So, uh, of course, since they come and come forward to us and request from us, so we have organized to let them to have uh, food, 
So every Monday we provide dry food item, and then every Thursday and Saturday we give them uh, cooked food. So in fact, uh, we, with understanding of the current situation, so we give them opportunity to to uh, give some do small business for the all the uh, food stores people, and uh, we buy from them and we take that food distribute to the poor people. So the uh, that is we call Tiradana Brisama Praya. Where peoples are together with the Tiradana. And then in addition to that, of course, uh, since the uh, many people lost their job, many people uh, have to close down their businesses. So uh, we come forward to help them, looking for the uh, people, for those who need the jobs. We look for the uh, vacancies wherever uh, the God. So we try to fit them the jobs, especially uh, we join with some uh, corporate organizations like Malaysian Retailers Association like that. So. Uh, Throughout the country, anybody looking for the job, we ever ready to serve them. And again, according to current situation, children doesn't have time to have them in opportunity to go back to the school. So especially those children are taking exams such as SPM. So we have discussed with some of the tuition centers, and they are came forward to uh, help us give the free tuition to the, those students. So we recruit the students, SPM students, and we give them uh, uh, next six months free tuition, regardless of race or religion. So these are the, some of the activities we have been organizing for under Tiratana banner for our country, for the nation. Thank you. Wow, Dato, that was a lot to take. There are a lot of initiatives and charities and efforts. Um, how much does Tiratana need monthly to, to run all these programs? So, the, uh, normally we need actually uh, 250 over 1000 dollars per month. And this all we are depend on public donation. So the public donations, uh, they come forward because we don't get the tiny government grant, but we are fully dependent on the public donation. Unfortunately, since uh, MCO come, you know, the COVID-19 come, is we really badly affected. Nobody come and visit us. Nobody come forward. And same time, of course, for the safety of our image, we don't allow people to come in also. And therefore, uh, during this time, we have really affected. But within this, our capacity, we try our best to uh, manage. Hopefully, as soon as possible, this uh, uh, if we, this COVID-19 pandemic be over, so we will be able to move forward again. So until that. Uh, we, uh, we had to struggle to look for the pan donation. So therefore, the I hope uh, or like your organization can come forward to help us really grateful and appreciate all of you. Yes, Tato, we too are hoping for the for things to get normal after the COVID outbreak. Um, lastly, Dato, may I ask what other areas does Tiratana need help in? Yes, Mr. Daniel, actually, uh, you all know, the, now everything is moving forward to the technology. Everything. Even uh, uh, all people also uh, in the house, they are uh, all depend on the handphone or uh, whatever the thing. So otherwise, 
they go a little bit uh, haywire their mind because nothing to do in the house. So they, are, they are actually limited to only four walls. Huh? Sometimes how long the families can talk to each other. But since this time it has really gone and we have to uh, look forward for the future of our children. So therefore uh, we have to uh, like now online classes. So at the moment actually uh, we don't have enough facilities for online classes and uh, we are depend on the our staff uh, uh, some of the either computers or laptop and uh, then again the, some handphone and uh, then so we also managed to get a couple of uh, uh, second hand uh, laptop and then the most of the, our children are sharing each other to study online classes so uh, at the same time for the regarding uh, email all books huh? so they are most of them are all in fact all of them are actually about 50 years old we are actually considered the high risk people so they, we also need we try our best to give them uh, uh, safety of their life so that we need some oxygen uh, machines uh, to help keep standby uh, for the old people and other whatever equipment if we can find to protect their health and they protect our image so these are the uh, simple things I like to request and in future whoever will need to come forward and uh, hopefully uh, with your organization again I would like to say thank you so much for each and every one of you hopefully you will come forward and with your a small uh, contribution or big contribution it is actually thought is very important so on behalf of the organization once again I would like to thanks to each and every one of you and wish you each and every one of you free from mental suffering free from physical suffering free from COVID-19 wish you good health and long life thank you so much